We're continuing our in-depth look at India Walton's unprecedented victory in the Buffalo mayoral primary. And joining us now is investigative post reporter Jeff Kelly, who's been covering her campaign closely from the very beginning. Thanks, Jeff, for joining us. Glad to be here. Jeff, uh, Ms. Walton has said several times that this was a grassroots effort. Explain what that means. How did they come together as such a force? Well, you know, what India Walton did, the, the sort of birth of her candidacy, candidacy was uh, last summer's protest against uh, police misconduct, against housing uh, inequality, income inequality. All of these groups came together, united by these various causes, and Indy Walton saw that. She's familiar with those groups, familiar to those groups, and she brought them together in a coalition to run this race to challenge incumbent Mayor Byron Brown. Injected into that mix was election expertise from the Working Families Party, which showed them how you run a campaign, how you, how you, how you get on the ballot, how you, uh, how you do outreach to voters. It was a very successful mix. Let's take a look at the election data itself. Where did Ms. Walton do well in the city? Well, first, she did better across the city in, in all of its districts than, than most people expected. But she did particularly well on the west side and in North Buffalo. She uh, performed better than expected on the east side. She didn't do as well in South Buffalo. Uh, voter turnout was very low in all these districts, but it was ex especially notably low in uh, like Maston and Ellicott, districts that have been strongholds for the mayor, where traditionally his voters just just swamped his previous reelection opponents. Safe to say it is going to be a change of course for what we've been used to seeing and hearing around Buffalo City Hall. Jeff Kelly, some great insight. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. It's my pleasure always. Thank you.